Okay, today we're going to be talking about form and content and how do we make that in a piece of art. Well, first of all, we need to decide on a subject matter, what the main idea is. Um, is it physical, like landscapes, picture of a horse, or it is an idea, like love or hate, for example. So form is the way that the artist uses the elements and principles of art the way they organize their composition, but also includes their personal style, and the kind of media that the artist is using to actually make the physical piece of art. Now content is the idea of the piece of art, such as love, or it could be uh, the meaning that the uh, artist is trying to convey in this piece of art. It could also mean the impact of the art itself, like Picasso's Guernica, for example. Now if we get back to this idea of form, we can see two pieces of art that both have the same subject matter of George Washington. The first one is a painting by Gilbert Stuart. This was begun in 1795, and it's a portrait of George Washington. The other piece is also of George Washington by Jean-Antoine Houdon, made in plaster in 1786. Now both of these are the subject matter of George Washington, but they're both done in different forms, different composition styles, and different mediums. Now if we look at the content of the subject matter of George Washington, we could look at Rembrandt Peale's Washington before Yorktown. This was done in 1778. This is oil on canvas and it shows a very heroic George Washington on horseback and leading his people into Yorktown. The second painting is by Grant Wood, Parson Weems fable, where George Washington is a child and he's cutting down a cherry tree and admits to the, uh, to the crime. This oil painting was done in 1939. Now you can see in both of these paintings the subject matter is the same. The form is a bit different as far as composition, but the content is very different. One is a heroic Washington and the other is a childhood, innocent kind of Washington. So what we need to do in our project is to develop ideas and define the form of the art. The art would actually be, in our case, digital art done in Photoshop. And we want to select an idea such as love. And some of the ideas that we want to find, for example, in love could be things like hearts, or couples, romancing, holding hands, or a picture of a rose. And this is part of the design process. Now there are five steps to the design process. Research, sketches, rough attempts or rough designs, your final piece of art, and finally the presentation. Now what we need to do is to take these ideas, say love, and then select the opposite. So the opposite of love is hate. So you would decide what would represent something that visualizes the idea of hate. Now we already know that the form of the piece will be done in digital art. But how do you want to compose it? How do you want to use the elements and principles and organize these elements and principles in your composition. And the other part would be how do you research, how do you find visual reference that represents the idea of hate. So your assignment is to select one idea. Now I have given you the idea of love and hate. Your assignment is to begin to research an idea of your choosing and then find the opposite and apply the, the design process to come up with a 
piece of art that represents the opposite. So you'll be coming up with two pieces of art. One with the idea that you first selected, and then another piece of art that represents the opposite idea, as I demonstrated or given the example of love and hate. So this assignment, I'm giving you a couple weeks to do, but first I want you to turn in your reference material. I want you to define the concepts you're using. And then I want you to um, come up with a way that defines the content of your piece. And then you'll be doing sketches that you'll be turning in. So I want you to take uh, a, a paper, write a paper on the, uh, your concepts, your two opposing conflicts. Put them on a Microsoft Word document. And then put three reference photos for each. And then I want you to make sketches for each of your 8 by 10 projects. One for your first concept, and then the second would be the opposite concept. And I want you to apply the design process for each.